Okay, folks, so in this video, we are going to look at an area of maths, an area of algebra called factorizing. Now, you've already come across the term factors before, even if you don't remember it. A factor is any number which can divide into another number. So if I look at the number 12, okay, it's factors. And when you're writing factors of numbers, you should always get into the habit of writing them in their pairs. So the first pair of factors are the number 1 and 12. Because 1 times 12, with the dot here simplifying multiplication, is equal to 12. And the next number, what's after? 1, 2. Does 2 go into 12? Yeah. How many times? 6 times. Okay? So 2 and 6 are another pair of factors. And then we have 3 and 4. Okay? And these would be all the factors of 12. Alright? So when we talk about factors, we're talking about a, a term which divides into another term. Okay, now in algebra, we do get questions all the time where we have these kinds of uh, questions, where we have these kinds of things to try to find out the factors of something. It can be useful because these divisors, they often will represent something and can represent something in the real world, depending on what your algebra, your equation refers to, okay? So we're going to look at a few simple examples of this, all right? So my first example here, let's see if we have um, six x plus 4. Okay, so what we want to do is factorizing this. You want to know, well, what is the largest term that goes into both the 6x and the 4 into both of these different things? Okay, so um, it can't be x because while well, x goes into x here, there's no x term here. Okay, so it has to be a number. So what number goes into 6 and 4. And whenever you're factorizing, always get in the habit of looking for the highest common factor, the biggest number that divides it. All right? Well, 1 would go into both of them. 1 is a factor of every number. But 2 is bigger. So what we could say is we could say 2 times. So our brackets represent multiplication. So, well, what number multiplied by 2 would give me 6 is 3? Or another way to look at it is, well, what's 6x divided by 3? Now, remember, it's 6x, so it's going to be 3x. 2 times 3x is 6x. Plus, where is this plus coming from? It's coming from here in front of the 4. What is 4 divided by 2? Two? 2. So my factors, because just as I said here, I had pairs of factors. I have pairs of factors again. My factors of 6x plus 4 are the terms 2 and 3x plus 2. This is considered its own number or term, all of its own, okay? So the, the everything in the brackets is one term, all right? So there's uh, our first example, all right? So let's think of another example. So, 10x plus 15y. So, what term goes into both this and this? All right. Well, there's no letters that go into both because I have x's here and y's here. And I don't have a letter that goes into both x and y. x goes into x, but not into y. y goes into y, but not into x. Okay. We have the 10 and the 15. Well, what, what's the biggest number that goes into 10 and 15? 5. All right. So, we write our 5, our first factor, and then we write in our bracket, which we're going to have the remainder factor. So, now we're dividing this by the factor outside the bracket. So 10x divided by 5, 10 divided by 5 is 2x. Plus, because we have the plus here, 15y divided by 5, 15 divided by 5 is 3y. And there we go. Our factors of 10x plus 15y are 5 and 2x plus 3y. Okay, so. Um, let me just think of another one. Yeah. What about this one? Right, we have no numbers this time around, but we have letters. We have the term AB and we have the term BC. So what letter goes into both AB and into BC? Well, what letter is common in both is B. All right, so what is AB divided by B? Well, let's do it over here. AB divided by B. B goes into B once, so we're just left with A. BC divided by B. B goes into B once, so we're just left with C. So AB divided by B is A plus 
BC divided by B is C. So our pairs of factors are B times A plus C. Okay. Uh, let's just do a couple more examples with some different signs and powers. Okay, so what about this? Okay, so what is the biggest number that goes into these? Well, two goes into both of them, but is it the biggest number? Four goes into both of them, but is there a bigger number? Eight goes into both of them. Eight goes into 16 and eight goes into 40. So A is our highest coming factor. 16A divided by 8, 16 divided by 8 is 2A. Minus, why have I got a minus this time? Because I had a minus in the question. There's a minus here, so there's a minus in the bracket. 40 divided by 8 is 5, so 40B divided by 8 is, four, is 5B, or minus 5B. All right? Now. So this time you have x squared plus 2x is equal to. Now let's just think about this sum for a minute, okay? What does x squared mean? x squared is the same as x times x, okay? And 2x is x multiplied by the number 2, okay? So these are different things, okay? This is x multiplied by itself twice. This is the number x multiplied by 2, okay? And they do mean different things, all right? Think about it, okay? 3 squared plus 2 times 3. Well, 3 squared is 3 by 3, 2 by 3. Well, th 3 by 3 is 9, and 2 by 3 is 6. They're not equal. So x multiplied by itself twice is not the same as 2 times x, just as my example here. Okay, so going back to the question here, x squared or x times x plus 2x. Okay, you don't need to write this. This is just to help us see what's going to happen. What is the term that goes into both of them? we got a 2 here, we've got no numbers here. We'll have an x here and have an x here. So, x is my highest common factor. Well, what is x squared divided by x? As we already said, x squared is x by x all over x. x goes into x once, so we're just left with x. So, x squared divided by x is x, and 2x divided by x is 2. And there we go. Let's do one more example. Okay. 12xy minus 24yz. Okay, so what is the highest common factor of 12 and 24? Well, the highest common factor of 12 and 24 is 12. 12 goes into 12 once, 12 goes into 24 twice. Now, what is the highest common factor of xy and yz? What term goes in the both of these? Well, the x is here, but there's no x is here. The z is here, there's no z there, but there's a y in both. So 12y is the highest common factor. Now, what is 12xy divided by 12y? 12 goes into 12 once, y goes into y once, so we just have to put 1x. So we have an x in the bracket here. And then likewise, we have the minus, because we have the minus here. 24yz divided by 12y. 12 goes into 24 twice. Y goes in the Y once, so you're going to be 2 times Z is 2Z. So, and there you go. This is how I draw my Zs, okay? So that is how we factorize with common factors. There are different methods of factorization. This is the simplest method, and you must be able to recognize any and all of these methods, okay? So I hope this helps. Keep up the good work, and if you have any questions or having any trouble, you just have my email, you can send me a message that way and um, talk to you soon. Okay, bye.